Hello, Brian. Thank you for sending this video over. Uh, the uh, The quality was good. I was able to pull it off of YouTube, and uh, it's good. It's good, and and uh, so thank you so much. All right. So right here from setup. And by the way, I know you told me to go ahead and tear into you, and not hold back and all that. But uh, honestly, there's a lot of good things going on here. So right from the get go, you can see you've got your hands ahead of the ball, and I can see a strong left hand grip. Uh, and I can see a nice, I would say, conventional looking right hand. So like the setup, like the grip. The one thing I would like to see, though, is to have you set up uh, with your, your, your weight a little more evenly distributed, which is going to feel like you're going to have more weight on your back foot. I, it looks like you're leaning a little bit more on your, on your front foot to me right here. Let's, uh, let's take a look at the swing. Okay, here we go. Starting again. So you're moving your shoulders nicely, and you're moving your hips nicely. What is happening, though, a little bit is that you are starting right from the initial takeaway. Your hands are a little bit active. See how, you, how your right hand and the left hand are kind of moving a little bit as your shoulders haven't done a heck of a lot yet? Now, you do a really good job of making this blend into a good-looking swing. Uh, because you are turning your shoulders really, really well. But notice how from this viewpoint, you've got, uh, you, you know, your hands are a little bit closer to your chest than we'd like to have them be. I'm going to bring in a tour player to show you what, what I'm talking about a little bit more. I'm going to bring up Rory McIlroy here from the face-on view. So let's find Rory. Okay, here he comes now. All right. So notice how here with Rory... Number one is we're not going to see his, his hands are just dead in front of his chest. There's no independent hand action whatsoever. And this is one of the things that's, I think, got you into a little bit of um, a little bit of trouble where you mentioned that you were getting the club laid off behind you. Notice how your hands are getting, you can see your hands getting a little bit active right from the get-go. And it's not, it's not a lot, but you don't have a whole lot going on wrong in your swing. And you can see here you're lifting your hands up a little bit versus Rory is just turning through. All right, and so you can see we get the top of the swing. You are turning your shoulders well, but see how he's got his lead shoulder deeper, more behind the ball? If you could set up with your head a little bit more behind the ball from the get-go, that would help you get your shoulder a little bit deeper, a little bit more behind the ball, and it's going to be easier for you to match up at the bottom. You're going to have better impact at the bottom if you get a little bit more behind it. I hope that, that makes sense. Uh, let's take a look at you. Well, let, let's finish your downswing here. I'm sorry. I'm going to get Rory out of there for now. Okay, and notice how, you know, as you start your downswing, you're shifting your body towards the target a little bit. We'd rather have you unwind a little bit down the road. I would not say it's a priority, though. And then we get down to impact position. Now, you're doing a pretty good job matching up at impact. See how you've got a pretty good solid line there, nice lever. Uh, you're doing a good job with that. I do think you could do, you could get better results, though, if you could do a better job taking that club away and being a little bit more on plane, which is something that you had also identified. Great athletic finish. Let's take a look at you down the target line now. Okay. Now, this is not exciting, this is boring, but here's what you need to do. <laughs> you need to work on your setup a little bit here, Brian. So I'm going to bring up an example of a really good-looking setup. Adam Scott down the target line. Here's what he's doing. Neutral spine angle. I'm drawing a line from the back of his neck to his tailbone. He's in a really nice neutral spine angle. You're bending from the back a little bit too much. And because of that... It's hard for you to get your arms hanging straight down from your shoulders, whereas he's got a nice situation with his arms straight down from his shoulders. So you're a little bit jammed up with your hands close to your body there. The other thing, though, that's important about this posture is in order to make the shoulder turn you want to make and the hip turn you want to make, you've got to be in a neutral spine angle. When we slouch and we bend from our back, the way that you're doing over here on the left-hand side, when you slouch, what happens is that your vertebrae and your discs they get 
these big spaces in them in the back of your spine. These are horrible lines, I know. And then you have very small little kinked up spaces on the inside of your vertebrae. And what happens is it, it hurts rotational ability. So we, the most important thing we're going to talk about actually is that right there. Number one priority before you work on anything else is please adjust your posture. And I'm going to send an instructional video at the end of this to help you do that. So that is number one, okay? Let's take a look at how the cloak comes back. I'm going to draw a line on the ground for where you're aiming here, Brian. Okay, notice the club head moves outside the target line a little bit. You can see your hands moving towards the target line. You see the hands moving towards the target line. So this is not an example of the one-piece takeaway that you may have heard of before. And I know that what's probably happening is, I don't know what I think it, I think that because you are trying to not get the club stuck behind you, you're trying to get that club away from you. But the way to do it is not by pushing your hands forward. Take a look at Adam Scott on the right-hand side. First of all, this is a lot easier because he has good posture. Watch how he takes his, his club back. He's going to turn his shoulders. See his hands stay right underneath his shoulders. But because he's not fanning the club back behind him, he's able to get that club actually a little bit upright right here. Let me get rid of that line. And then he's going to hinge his wrists. And look at that club right in front of his forearms, a nice slightly up, upright backswing. Let's take a look at what we're doing over here with you on the left. I'm going to put your target line back down again here, Brian. Okay, so now hands are involved, which you'd prefer not to have them involved. They've moved out towards the ball. And see your club head, when you're parallel to the ground, see that club head is back behind your hands. We need them to be like this, right there. So when you take those, those, uh, those back swings, when you turn those shoulders, we need your hands in a position so that your, your shaft is parallel to your target line while it's parallel to the ground. And actually, Adam Scott is exaggerating the right thing. You can see his club head is outside of his hands over here. Okay, this is what I want you to strive to get right there. And so now what's going to happen is, as you continue back, the club head is now behind you. You're going to be a little flat. You're going to be laid off like you talked about. See the low end of the club pointing outside the target line? Watch Adam Scott. And you know this, and I know you know this, but this is, this is the next thing. So his... Butt end of his club points inside of his target line. I'm going to put a line down again for his target. The butt end of your club points outside of the target line. In order for Adam or Scott to get back to the ball, he's just going to turn through. He's going to drop the club a little bit under the previous swing plane, and he's going to come nicely from the inside. Now, with you, better players from this position, they can still come from the inside, but they do it by kind of forcing an in-to-out path, and sometimes with shorter clubs especially, they have trouble hitting shanks. I know most of your misses are on the toe, but sometimes that usually indicates an out-to-in swing path. But if you, if you start coming from the inside more, you're going to really risk catching that hosel from here. Let's watch how this comes through. I know it's going slow. So your hands are out pretty close to that target line. Yeah, your club's coming out to end. So that's going to be for pulls and, and slices. So we need to get you, number one, better posture. And number two, we need to get that more upright swing plane. I'm going to attach a drill for you to help you do that called the butt in the gut drill. I'm going to give you a little preview of it right here. Then I'm going to send it on the end. here's the idea. When you set up, you're going to have the butt end of the club right in your belly button. And then you're going to turn back. Just turn those shoulders. Keep that club. You're going to keep the club right against your, uh, 
your belt buckle. Here we go, right there. That's what we want. Now when we look at this from down the target line, this also helps with swing plane. So you have the button of the club right on your belt buckle. So you're going to turn your shoulders and your hands are just going to be right in front of your body here, all right? Be careful not to overdo it and get the club stuck behind you. So if you, I'm going to back this up a little bit. So you can see as we get that club parallel to the ground, it's also parallel to the target line. So number one, posture, posture, posture. And then number two will be this butt in the gut drill. It's going to help you with your swing plane. It's also going to help you with that one piece takeaway. And those two things are related for you. So, Brian, I hope this was helpful for you. Uh, please let me know how it goes. Thanks so much for sending the video over. And if you have any questions, please uh, feel free to shoot me another email. Thank you. Here's a great way to get good posture. Start off standing alongside your target line. Your club in one hand. Place it behind your back so that you can hold the grip end on your tailbone. Then bending from the hips, keep the club on your back, tailbone, and back of head. Let your arms hang straight down below your shoulders, and then let the club touch the ground. Moving in towards the ball, we now have good posture. This is what I like to call the butt in the gut drill. And what that means is the butt of the golf club, it sticks you, the golfer, in the gut or in the belt buckle. And so here's the first idea, is as we set up, you can see here that the, the butt end of the club is all the way up against my belt buckle, and it's, it's up against my body. And what this is going to do in this example is it's going to help a player start to learn the correct feeling of a one-piece takeaway. So as the butt of the club stays right in my, uh, in my belly there and I start to turn my shoulders, you're going to see that my shoulders and my hands all move together. There we go. Okay, we'll do it one more time here in slow motion. So in a second here we're going to see. There, so we have see the nice triangle we've got there. We've got the, the hands right in front of the chest. That's what we want to have. Now when we continue and we start to look at the down the target line view here, this is also going to help out with our swing plane. I set up good posture, butt end of the club right in my belly there, and I'm just going to turn my shoulders and allow my wrist to hinge naturally, and we're going to end up in the situation where the shaft of the club is parallel to the target line while it's also parallel to the ground or very close to that. So you can see right here this is helping us learn not only how to make a nice one piece takeaway with the shoulders but also how to help get our golf club started on plane. Be sure to check out our YouTube channel for more instructional videos.